Jeffrey from Jeffrey App Tech, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be showing you part four of creating our Jubot iOS app. Now, first of all, I'd like to get started by covering this common error that I had, and it bugged me for a long time. It says expected expression. Well, how do you solve this? I've tried everything. I've checked for errors, everything. Well, there's a simple fix. Use curly braces and put them around your statements. This will fix your problems. And we don't put that there, but we put it here. Just enclose everything. That's it, that solved all our problems. Now, we're gonna be working on the IV actions. Now these are, I guess, simpler, but they're still kind of hard to use. Anyway, we'll get started with the first one. The first one's quite simple. First, we wanna check if the BLE manager, shared manager, is connected. And if it is, then we want to disconnect. And if it isn't, then we want to connect, which is a little bit more complicated. Like, there's a way to search. BLE shared, and we want to scan device 30.0F, and the mode is BLE search mode, find and connect the first. Now we want to do the get post apt. First, we want to define our payload. equals payload allocate init. Then we want to pay payload command get post, which will execute that command. And then we want to do payload dot complete. And press enter. And for this code, you want to start by defining another payload MSG payload. And that's equal to the Dubai Magician MSG. And we'll call it MSG. Dot payload. Now we want to set our pose, which we'll call P. Then you want to get the bytes and size of P. There we go. The next step, we want to put it in the log. Pose. And we'll call it X. Percent sign point zero F Y percent sign percent sign point zero F Z percent sign point zero F R percent sign point zero F Now 
Now you want to do p dot x, p dot y, p dot z, p dot r. Then you want to put it into the text, which is the log, but we have to do a dispatch and get the main queue. Dispatch, get main queue, and press enter for that. And you want to do label log. Or just log dot text equals text. We are done with that, except for we have to send the payload. BLE MSG MGR shared manager send MSG payload. Now let's go to PTP commands tapped, where we will be executing our PTP commands. First, you want to set an NS mutable array, which means you can change it, and we'll call it PTP commands. And it's equal to an NS mutable array, array with capacity of 10. Then we want to set our PTP commands. And we'll call the first one PTP command one. And the mode is PTP move L, which we have learned about. And we want to move to 2.50.0F, 20.0F, 0.0F, and 0.0F. Then you want to set point one, which will just be a payload. Payload, allocate, init. Then you want to say point one, one, command PTP, and we'll say P1. Now you want to do it for P2. We'll just copy that and paste it again and just change P1 to P2, point one to point two. Point 0.1 to point 0.2 and P1 to P2 and change that to negative 20. That's P2. And then we want to do P3, which will be, again, just changing everything to 3. But also, this gets to 200 and that stays as negative 20. And then We'll set P4, which is the exact same thing, 200. And it's also positive 20F. Now that'll be P4, 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 P4. Now we want to set our repeat count to 60. And it will be with nil inside. First, point one, point two, point three, point four. And then we want to set a for loop. Four int i equals 0. i is less than the repeat count and i increments every time. First, you want to do ptp 
commands add objects from array loop commands then you want to init the get current post timer and then you want to have another for loop this one will be for int i equals zero i is less than the number of ptp commands and i increments now payload we'll set another payload and that's equal to ptp commands i and you want to send the msg That's it for that function. Now we'll go to stop timer. First, if the timer is valid, then we'll just invalidate it and set it to nil. That's all we have to do. And this one is get current post timer is valid. Then we invalidate and we set it to nil. Now we'll start with start queue, which is also quite simple. We just set the payload, and that's equal to payload allocate initiate. And then we want to do payload command start queue. And then BLE MSG MGR shared manager send MSG payload. Now we just copy this and we paste it into stop queue and clear queue because we just changed the command. See, this just changes to command stop queue. This changes to command clear queue. Now we're going to change the do the switch jog mode thing. UI switch mode change is equal to a UI switch with the sender. And then now we we update the jog mode. Now we'll deal with EIO. This is quite complicated. And we'll get started anyway, because then there's then closer we, we get finished, faster will be. First, you want to check if the change IODO timer is valid. If it is, great, we're gonna invalidate and set it to nil. Now we're going to set our IO multiplexing to IO multiplexing and it's equal to curly braces with a few parameters. The first one is the address. The second one is a uh, type with a uint h underscore t IO function dummy. And then payload with the type of payload is equal to payload allocate init. Then you want to set payload command set 
IO multiplexing. And IO multiplexing is IO multiplexing, of course. And its Q is no. Then you want to complete with the payload. Now we want to check if the result is MSG result. Okay. So payload. MSG payload, which is equal to the Dubai MSG payload. And then we want to log it, print it out, which is just NS log. And we want to log it pretty much. And I forgot to put that parenthesis there. And for NS log, it will be payload dot params equals percent sign at sign which means there's a parameter which is msg payload dot params then we will just want to send the msg and we have to put that there send msg payload now this next function is pretty much the exact same so i will copy this over except for we don't need the timer part hmm, let's see so let's see what we have to change Nothing really. It's just we have to look here and let's see. Um, okay, that's it. Now we'll move down and we'll get the get EIO. This one's going to be the last one, which will be awesome. Now, let's go down, and again, it's the exact same. But for stop EIO, hmm. wait a second. I think this is for stop EIO. Therefore, I'm going to switch these out. And as for EIO, it's just the exact same as this, but we change one thing. This is instead IO function DO. Then everything else is the same, except for we also have to init the uh, init change IO DO timer. And let's look at stop just to make sure there's nothing wrong. Great. There's nothing wrong. Here we are. We're completely done. Now, in the next part, we'll be trying it out. Make sure you download it onto your phone. And then also, I'll be showing the Dubot wiring as well. Here we are. Here's our final product. Make sure you have your Dubot Magician out along with the wireless one module. Here's my phone with the app on here. Here, I'm gonna tap the connect button. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there. And it changes to disconnect. If it does, great, you're connected. Also, this green light right here should turn solid once you are connected. Now let's press PTP commands just to see what it looks like.
connect again and we'll click on get pose and it shows us our pose right here shows us the pose of this duo magician you can also press start cue where it just moves around moves in that way then press stop cue to stop it and then you can change the mode get the pose again you can move it around and the pose will change anyway that was our project it's really cool because like you're controlling your do up magician through an app that you made yourself that's a pretty big accomplishment I mean it's cool and we haven't made iOS apps to do that before have we and then the next few videos we'll be doing other second development things so check through Python through C++ and of course through Arduino and I'll see you then